to China. Let's bring in John Bussey. He's a Fox News contributor and Wall Street Journal associate editor. Great to see you, John. Pleasure. Your reaction on the, what is it, a truce, not a deal? Yeah, as of and, Friday, and, right? And that's right. And it's probably generous causing, uh, calling it even that. Uh, this is not a deal. Uh, you know, a, a year ago, uh, the president raised tariffs and uh, China decided not to buy U.S. agriculture goods. And now the president's lowering tariffs and China's going to buy agricultural goods. So we're basically kind of back to where we were. Uh, it's not a bad resolution for the president because the stock market liked it. Uh, and he gets a little bit of relief for U.S. farmers. China, at the same time, gets a little bit of relief for its exports, which had been down to the United States. And it's got this, uh, this African swine uh, fever in the country. Uh, pork population has been kind of hurt. So it needs the imports. So in that regard, it's probably a win-win for both. But it is basically just a re, you know return to where we were. Yeah, but the, at least the they're talking, year. right? Yes. At least, I mean, there's always optimism. I mean, he, the the December tariffs could kick in. We don't know what's going to happen yet. Let's bring the viewer up to speed on what exactly is going on with China. China is saying it wants more talks before it signs on the dotted line. Many areas still unresolved. Uh, it includes intellectual property. Again, the December tariffs, China's Huawei, and China manipulating its currency, yeah, right? All of the big issues, right? The issues that the Trump administration set out to resolve, which was basically to change the way that China's economy works and that China trades in the global system. No more theft of intellectual property, no more forcing U.S. companies to transfer their technology to uh, China, uh, better adherence to WTO rules, fairer standards within the country that allowed U.S. companies to invest. All of those things are the big issues. They're all still unresolved. I mean, but still the optimism is if they weren't interested in having some progress, they wouldn't be talking at all. But it's so there's optimism that they're talking. But I want to move on to this because you've been an astute observer of the markets and of globalization. Paul Krugman, he's a liberal ec uh, economist. Uh, I think he's an economist. Actually, he's trained yes. as a lawyer. He writes for The New York Times. He's saying, admitting now that, quote, he and other economists have been wrong about globalization, hurting the American worker. They didn't, they didn't rely on methods that would focus on workers in particular industries, didn't give them a better picture. Now he's saying he's making a mistake. So how can people trust what Krugman writes from now on? Well, I mean, the question is what the president's going to do. Uh, Krugman's going to be a... Talk about a, Paul Krugman, a, yeah, that's president right, right yeah, now. I, I know. It, it, it's, uh, you know what, what Krugman is going to is going to criticize is probably kind of in his mind what's the most important economic theme at the moment. What the president is doing on this trade issue is a whole other thing. What the Chinese have agreed to, what the president have agreed to is basically a standstill. The Chinese are fundamentally probably waiting until the election happens because they think they're going to get a better deal. They want globalization, the things that Paul Krugman is reconsidering. They want it to continue because they have so thrived off of it. Okay, so that's the backstory. All right, and I, I know we got to go to break, but when when you read columnists like Paul Krugman, who is always saying yes to globalization, the president unwound that narrative, saying, "Hey, what about the U.S. worker?" And now, finally, Paul Krugman, after decades, admitting that, yeah, we missed the trends of American workers in certain industries. It's a major mistake. I played a hand in it. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I understand what, what you're saying. I understand what Paul Krugman is saying. But people follow Krugman religiously. And for now, to him finally to admit, yeah, I made a mistake, you got to wonder, can you trust him from now on? Well, he's a smart cat, and it's a great newspaper, The New York Times. Understood. It's a very, very good competitor. Um, but you're going to agree with him or not agree with him. I think most people That's have a come, big thing to miss. Yeah, m most people have come around to the fact that the American worker got hammered yeah, uh, over the did. last 30 years. Yeah. John Bussey, you're great. We come back. Pleasure. Good to see you.